Hi, this is Mary Kay's Positivity Podcast. I'm a yoga and meditation teacher and life coach. I'm also author of several self-help books. I love the visual of the lotus flower, which is literally the only flower able to bloom in mud. And life is much like that muddy water. And we can't get upset by the heaviness of the mud and how it looks, really. But instead, be patient and slowly push through the mud, knowing something beautiful is going to bloom. So it's a great life metaphor. In life too, it's important to, you know, go through this process knowing that with all this hard work, there's going to be a payoff, but also to have fun along the way. For instance, if you're going through a sports tryout and they make you nervous and you panic and even your parents worry, and if you don't make it, You can even feel their sad energy. But sad energy is a really low vibration. And you need to move forward out of that sad, low vibration. So what you got to think about, instead of like popping out of it quickly, think about the situation and what you can do about it without obsessing. Maybe like, okay, this is what I've learned from that situation, so I don't make that mistake again. But help yourself move up that energy ladder to a really better place, a positive, calm, comfortable place. So instead, you know, maybe not making the team gave you, it made you feel angry or jealous. Those emotions are very low vibration. And your emotions you feel become the energy you emit, just like your thoughts become what happens to you. So try instead, this is really hard, but try instead to be happy for those girls who make the team or any girls that annoy you for that matter. When you can truly be happy for others, you're going to see abundance come back to you tenfold. And I'm very serious about this. So don't focus on getting, focus on giving and, and feeling that, that positive attitude towards others. Wanting more for others creates abundance for you. So when someone posts about their engagement, for instance, be happy for her, celebrate her, maybe reach out with best wishes and watch what happens. And keep pushing through your own muddy waters, but be careful not to become paralyzed by overthinking. When your friend becomes engaged, do you wonder about every past relationship you ever had and overanalyze, maybe I should have ended up with him, or wonder why you're such a good person and yet so-and-so has the boyfriend, you know, that doesn't really deserve it, you think. As soon as that thought enters your head, put it out, because all that's wasted energy. Wasted energy, feeling hate or negativity towards someone. So you're taking your own great energy and wasting it on someone who might not deserve it. And it, it, it all like comes full circle, like negative energy comes back to you. So it might be helpful to even close your eyes and do some breath work. So everyone just now, if you just keep your eyes closed, I, I want you to take a deep inhale and I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four. Five. Now hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one. Now deep exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now inhale again for one, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath. Now exhale seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that type of breathing pattern makes it really hard to ruminate over things you may have thought you did wrong or what other people said because you're focused on the breath. It's really hard to think of anything else. You can't think about the past. You can't think about the future. You are actually in the moment. You're being mindful. So stop doing the destructive thinking and instead Find ways to create better energy and get yourself out of that funk where you're moving up that emotional ladder that we talked about. What you can do is 
a journal. Sometimes writing the thoughts down doesn't make you want to speak them out loud to someone. So write in your journal or look for friends and look for the helpers in your life, people who make you feel good. There are helpers all around us. Like when we're in a funk or we're down, uh, there are teachers. They are the friend that just always makes you feel good, lights up a room. So look for the helpers in life who can help pull you up this emotional ladder. And it, it takes patience because remember, we're the lotus flower pu- pushing through the mud, but we're coming out a beautiful bloom. So now I want you to get in a comfortable place for a short meditation. I think making the time to meditate each day helps you start with a great framework helps you create a really positive mindset for your day, which is going to direct exactly what happens to you. Every time I create a positive mindset, I get great news. Emails with good news, texts with good news, phone calls. So it really works. So I want you to close your eyes, relax all the muscles in your face, unclench your teeth, relax your jaw, soften your eyes, And you can do this laying flat on your back or sitting against a wall. A lot of times in life, we just want to control everything. And that's what upsets us when things don't go our way and we're not in control. But I want you to think about this visual now. Imagine you're getting in the car and you're in a self-driving car. So you're not allowed to drive this car. You're going to trust that this car can get you where you need to go. And then you hit traffic. Is it easy? Scary? Can you let go of control in this self-driving car? Fast forward, you're getting to your destination. How do you feel now about the self-driving car? Now think about there are different paths that you need to go down. Do you need to take a right turn, left turn? Or do you trust the car to go down the right road? Does that feel overwhelming if the car takes a detour? You're going to allow the car to drive you to your destination. Because you're spirit driven. Your spirit will help you, guide you down the right path, just like this self-driving car. You just need to trust in the universe and trust the self-driving car. So think about how you can trust the universe more and let go. When things don't go your way, you're going to look for the open door. Oh, self-driving car didn't go down that path because there's something even better down this one. And that will create peace of mind. So allow your thoughts to leave your head. They might come back in, but just notice them without judgment. Just see if you can refocus yourself on the breath. Take a big inhale. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one. Now exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Be sure to subscribe to Mary Kay's Positivity Podcast, and I hope you'll join us again soon. Namaste.